Hello and welcome to In My Element. In this video we're taking a look at atoms and elements. So to get you started, do you know the difference between an atom and an element? The images there are just to give you a little idea. They're not necessarily specific for an atom or an element. We just thought they looked quite nice. So have a think. What is the difference between an atom or an element? We always tend to start with atom first because then that leads in nicely to what an element is. So, atoms are a really tiny particle. You can't see these, okay? So this is one of these ideas that you have to appreciate and understand that you can't see them, but they are there. And the reason we know they are there is because what they make up, okay? All matter, all matter is made up of atoms. So there are loads and loads of different type of atoms. And then an element will contain just one type of atom. So this blue picture here could be representing one element because they're all the same, all the circles are the same. Remember that we represent these atoms by circles when we're drawing our particle diagrams. The smallest particle of an element is called an atom. So for example, let's say gold. In gold, you will have lots of gold atoms and they are all arranged together to make the element of gold. One gold atom won't necessarily look like gold as you know it, but when they are grouped together, they form gold and they will have the properties of gold. So that leads us nicely into elements. So the elements made up of one type of atom, which we've just talked about briefly with the example of gold. We'll use another example here, hydrogen. Hydrogen is a gas. Um, it contains only hydrogen atoms. Copper, we know copper in terms of copper wire, copper pipes. Copper contains only copper atoms. Hydrogen is a gas. Copper is metal, so there are lots of differences between the two. Copper is a metal that can bend because it's soft and malleable. And there's a picture there. Um, that's copper, not quite copper wires, but definitely thin pieces of copper. You will see copper wires inside plugs if you ever have to rewire a plug, um, or if wires are exposed while something's being fixed, while an electrician's fitting something. You will see copper pipes, they might be laid into the ground. Okay, hydrogen's a gas that we can test for, and we know if hydrogen is present. And um, if you take a lighted splint to it, it will make a nice squeaky pop. Now, elements are also um, given all the different names, so like hydrogen, like copper, um, we've talked about gold, silver, you've got oxygen and carbon, lots and lots of different elements. Now, each element has its name and also has a symbol. Have a think if there are any that you know. There might be some that you know the names of, but not the symbols. And there might be some symbols that you would recognise really quickly because you've already been shown them or they're just ones that have appeared and you know you're not expected at this point to learn lots of the symbols but certainly into key stage four there's lots of symbols we need you to remember and you'll always have access to something called a periodic table which we'll come into in lesson two so if you look here there are four elements and they're given their um, symbol written their name underneath And they've also got two numbers. Top one is an atomic number, and this one here is the mass number. These will we'll go into these in more detail in Key Stage Four. You don't need to work anything out um, or anything like that, but you just need to be aware that those numbers are there and you can't change them. What you also need to be aware of is that when you've got a symbol like magnesium, it's got two letters. The first letter is always a capital letter. And the second one is a lowercase letter. You will also notice that it's not MA. It's not always the first two letters of the element. 
So a little reminder there that you need to be able to write these correctly. And as we've already mentioned, you'll remember some of the more common ones as well. Certainly um, oxygen and carbon too.